For today's little adventure, we're going to be reading Love Monster and the Last Chocolate by Rachel Bright. Love Monster and the Last Chocolate. Holiday Air. This monster, hello Love Monster, was just getting back from his vacation. And although it was a little bit exciting to be home, he was sad to leave his adventures behind him. But wait, what was this? A box of chocolates just sitting there waiting to be found? <gasps> love Monster couldn't believe it. You see, everybody knows the monsters seriously love chocolate, especially this monster. His mouth started to water, thinking about what might be inside. A peanut butter crunch, a Wally Whippet, or even an extravagant bendy sherbet? A fudge button, an orange bomb? Or maybe just maybe a double chocolate strawberry swirl, Love Monster's absolute favorite. But then he had a thought that he just couldn't rethink. Hmm, he should probably share the chocolates with his friends. But what if they weren't enough? Or what if someone took the one he wanted the most? Or worst of all, what if the only one left for him was the coffee one? Ugh, everybody knows monsters hate coffee ones. Especially this monster. Yuck. Mm, well, I'm sorry to tell you that after thinking all of these thoughts, Love Monster decided it would be safer and kinder and better for everyone if he got the chocolates just for himself. So he went into the house and so did the box of chocolates without a whisper to, of a word to anyone. Love Monster couldn't wait. Oh, how his mouth watered. But just as he went to lift the lid, he had the sort of queasy, squeezy feeling in his heart. It was the feeling a monster gets when he knows he's about to do something he shouldn't. And before you could say, pass me truffle surprise, he burst out of the house and ran as fast as his toes could carry him to find his friends. And when he did, in a very out of breath, in a bit shouty voice, he said, I got back from my vacation. I found this chocolates and I was going to keep them all and all of myself. And I really wanted to share them with you. And I don't, I don't need one, a single one. Well, maybe one. And you know what his friend said? Silly monster, just open the box. <gasps> to you, love monster, we miss you so much. We saved you our last chocolate, your favorite, because you're our favorite monster. <gasps> yes, sometimes it's when you stop to think of others that you start to find out just how much they think of you. The end.